so like I was saying, it's such a beautiful country but the recent history I mean the things that are going on there now it's pretty unfortunate. Let's see it from outside. Such a beautiful country. So we're gonna be flying to Keju Mountain, which is not very far. And it's uh, all the Himalayan mountains. So even the Kabul city, the airport that we just flew from, it's about 6,000 feet above the sea level, the city by itself. And it's surrounded by all these huge and beautiful mountains. It's such amazing. So we are flying through the outskirts of Kabul now. And uh, it's pretty amazing place. It's pretty beautiful place. I would really like to go there one day in my life. Hopefully the bees come to this country. So we can go and visit this country. Look at this, this, this place, it's so amazing, my god, it's so amazing, very pure life, huge and enormous mountains, wow, amazing. I mean, from there, all you're gonna see is gonna be the mountains and pretty, pretty huge mountains. So, all the mountains that we're gonna see pretty soon, they're gonna be like, I mean, at least 20,000 feet. It's amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful valleys. Beautiful weather. It looks so real, so authentic, even from the plane. Like, I... This Microsoft Simulator... It, it looks a game like from the future. It's so amazing.
So I am I'm planning to go to Kretu Mountain and I'm sure you have heard that name before. It is the second tallest mountain in the world after Mount Everest. And it's located in Pakistan. Pakistan is not that far away from Kabul. So that's that's what the plan is. To go there. Okay, we left Kabul far behind us and we are still going. It's, I would say we are going to the north, but Ketu is really to the northeast of Kabul city. So we will be finding it on our way. We are still in Kabul, Afghanistan. Uh, actually, not in Kabul, we left Kabul. It's... We, we are going towards the right direction. Like I said earlier, we will be going to... Actually, I'm going to north. Uh, T2 is... To the northeast of Kabul, so I'm gonna have to change. You see all these mountains? I mean, right now the elevation of my aircraft is 22,000, and look how close these mountains are. You can imagine the vastness and the hugeness of these mountains. It's amazing. If you can see all those mountains in my one o'clock, I think K2 is gonna be one of those mountains. So we are almost there, not that far away. And we are also gaining elevation, so that's good. But like I said earlier, look, right now our elevation is 23,000 and it's growing. But even then, all these mountains, 
below me, they are too close to me. So that's how big and tall these mountains are. And this is Himalayan mountains. So they are huge. They are huge. Very huge. Yeah, I think right about my 12 o'clock right in front of me far away the mountain that I see I am not 100% but I think I am 90% sure there should be K2 mountain because it's so huge, so tall so you can see it from far far away
Yeah, so right now our elevation is 27,490 feet and look at these mountains, oh my god, there's how huge and tall they are, I mean you can see how, how close they are to me, wow, wow. It feels like you are literally a few hundred feet above them. That's how huge these mountains are. Welcome to Himalaya, everybody. These mountains, they are so huge. And yet, you see, look, look, these, these beautiful lakes there. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at this. I would really love to visit this area in my life. Look, there's there's a river I guess down there. I think there's a river. Wow, so literally guys from here a river starts from here. Look at it. Oh my god. So this is just the beginning of a river. Yeah, I think that is river down there, right below the aircraft. Yeah, I think it's river. Boy, oh boy. So, like I was saying earlier, literally uh, the mountains that in front of us, they is K2, and uh, we are getting close to it. Well, I hope at least we get like 29,000 feet of elevation by getting there, because it's about 28,700 or something feet, the elevation of K2. So, I hope we get some sort of elevation, I mean, gallon elevation. Where did the river go? Yeah, it's right there, right there boys, right there. Oh man, imagine this river, it starts from here and it's gonna end up in ocean, oh my god, do you know Afghanistan is a land like country, they have no access to the sea, so probably it's gonna pass through either, I would say, Tajikistan I guess, or maybe Pakistan, and then from there it's gonna go to the ocean. It's amazing. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Wow. I mean, imagine standing, not even Kitu. Forget about Kitu. Imagine standing right here. The mountain you see below me right there on top of that. I can tell you it is at least, at least 20,000 feet above the sea level. I mean, it's, it's going to be hard to breathe. Wow. How pure is this place is going to be? Looks like we are almost to K2.
example, I don't see any bigger mountain than this in this whole area. So I guess that is K2. Yeah, it is. Even the shape looks like K2 mountain. We are getting close. Almost there. So, I guess, right, the mountain that is front of us, that is K2. I don't want to fly above than what I am now, because I just want to see, if it is K2, then my aircraft is not going to be high above it. It's going to be pretty close to it. And looking from here, I can say that it is pretty close. It is gonna be pretty close to it. And if I look here and there, I don't see any other mountain that is as huge as this one. So I'm gonna leave it. This is right. Now let's see what happens.
so the elevation for K2 is 28,251 feet and right now we are 28,760 I would say by the time we get there we're gonna be close to 29,000 so I'm gonna get close to it and see what happens There is another mountain that is far away. It's right to my, I would say, 2 o'clock. And it's pretty far away. That is huge. But I'm wondering, is it Mount Everest? I'm not sure. So hang tight, we are getting close. And we will see, trust me. I'm telling you, it looks huge. It looks so huge. Looks like it is scared too. Yeah, it's gotta be, man, guys. It's gotta be. Cause... Huh. So, we are close to 29,000 feet. And it looks very close. It looks close. So, guys, I'm telling you, it is K2 Mountain. I'm gonna go right above it. To see... And that other one that I see, it's like... To my one o'clock I guess and it's pretty far away I'm thinking that might be Mount Everest and it's pretty far guys it is pretty far it's not close So here we go guys, like I said, and even uh, looking to this area, I'm not 100% sure but to me it looks like K2 cause looking to the photos I have seen of K2, so this mountain does look like K2 mountain, uh, looks very familiar, or uh, looks like what you see in the photos, and it's pretty easy to understand it. So, like I said, we are literally, I uh, would say, 700 feet above K2 now. And you see how close we are to this? It's huge. Yeah, that is K2, guys. K2 mountain, the second tallest mountain in the world. You are witnessing it now, guys. Enjoy the view. Yes, this is K2. This is K2 mountain. Look how close I am to it. Oh my god, that is close. Very, very close. Look, I am 20, almost 29,000. Actually, I am 29,000 feet above the sea level. And look how close it is. Oh my god. I am literally above it. You can even touch it. Oh boy. Oh my god. Elevation. Wow. Yeah. This is K2 guys. K2 mountain.
Wow. Wow. It's huge. When we took off from Kabul, we could see this mountain from there. This is how huge this mountain is. We could see this peak. Look at this peak. We could see it from mountain, from, from Kabul. Wow. Okay guys, so this was a, a short trip from Kabul International Airport to K2 Mountain. We made it to K2. Probably next time we might fly from Kathmandu to Mount Everest, which is the tallest mountain in the world. So for now, that will be all. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And please do not forget to subscribe. There's gonna be more videos. There's gonna be a lot of fun in this channel. Consider this this your own channel. This is for both. This channel uh, we created this channel for children and adults, both of them. So the purpose is to have fun and let entertain you, the viewers. So once again, thanks for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe. Have a great day or night, anywhere you are. Bye bye.